Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and as you see on the screen is my page of JavaScript libraries. So basically the URL is alexmercedcoder slash jslib and here you can find and see all the different libraries I've created for JavaScript, mostly either dealing with handling arrays or web components. So I'm going to be making a few videos going over my newest entrance, first being basic element, component zoo, and then fun component. This first video is going to be on basic element, which is basic. Okay. I mean, let's take a look here. What's the size of this library? Um, basic element. I think it's just one less than one KB actually. It's your basic.js, 920 bytes. Okay. And basically what this library does, it allows you to make web components. Um, so let's go over there and let's just create a project. Okay, so let me just close out all this stuff so it's less cluttery. Okay, uh, let's clean. Let's first download the library just to show you how to do it. So I would go to basic element and I'm going to go to the GitHub. And here are the links to the three files. I'm going to do the CDN link. I'm going to include it through a script tag. So I'm going to just hit save, save link as. And then I'm going to go save it in my the folder where I have my the, my little test project. So that'd be here, 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 here. Cool. So I do that. So now we can go over here and start working on it. So see, there it is, basic.js, which just has a library. It's a really, really small library. And let me just make sure it's included in my index.html. So let's clear out the index so we can do all the stuff from scratch. And change this. I'm not going to do it as a module this time. So we'll take out the module piece. And then I'm going to have another script tag right here with basic.js. Save. Okay, so basically this is going to work pretty straightforward. So let's go to my app.js and make a component. So let me just get rid of all this. That's from the video on chain element. Um, okay, so basically it just works like this. You just create a new class. So new, so class test, I always do test test, which is gonna extends basic element, the base class. Then we're going to specify our constructor, which we just pass in the original state. Um, so the original state will be, we'll just say hello with the word hello. And then you're going to de define a function called render. Okay. And the render takes in state and props. Okie dokie. And basically all you do here is you just return a template string or do whatever, do whatever. But again, the end of the day, you have to return a string that is your template. So return some backticks and we're just going to do H one. And then we're going to do state dot hello, because we're going to have the word hello in there. And then I'm going to get the word world and from my props. So we'll just say props.world. Okay. And that'll be my H1. Save. And that's it. Uh, let's see, where was, where, where did I make a mistake here? Oh. Okay, and I got to call super. Okay, cool. And actually, technically, that's where I pass the state. So cut. There we go. And that's it. That should be all the code you need for a compo to make the actual component. Now I just need to register it with the so we window dot custom element dot define. Okay, and first you put in the name test test. And then the class that it's associated with, basic element. 
Oh, not basic element. Test test. There we go. That's it. There's my component. <clears throat> and again, you can do whatever you want here. You can add more methods, add more logic to the constructor, or wh really whatever you want. But I do this. Now let's go back to my body. And then I hit uh, test, test. And again, we wanted to pass in a property called world, which is going to just be world. And then we'll close it, test. Test. Oh wait, oh. And there we go, that should do it. So let's go to show and file manager. Index.html, open with Google Chrome. Oh, well that means I made some sort of mistake. Control shift I. Type error, cannot read property define of undefined. Yeah, figured that I might have used the wrong function here. I think it was a custom elements, I think it is. Save. Let's try that one more time, then I'll click peek. Yep, that was what it was, custom elements. And hello world, there it is. And see, it's it's this is from the state, and then this is from the props. And just like you're used to, um, I can it'll call I can trigger a re-render by a setting state. So all I have to do is this. Let's create a button. Okay, slash button that says click me. Save. And always a good habit is to add the event in your JavaScript. So document dot query selector button dot add that add event listener click and when this happens what we're going to do is we're going to take that element document dot query selector test test so we're going to grab the test test element and we're going to set its state. Okay, and and if I want to grab that unique one, since I have a prop on it, I could just use the prop to grab it. So I could just do world equals world and use that as my selector or my query dot set state. And now the set state will be hello again, hello that hello property because that's what's in our template. But now the property is going to be worth goodbye okay and that should do it okay let's refresh there's a button now if I click this if I, everything worked this should turn into goodbye world and it turned into goodbye world it works so that's that's it that's all that comes out of the box so for one kilobyte you can create a web component with reactive state that also takes in props and it's pretty easy to create okay I mean it feels pretty much like creating a react component um, with a lot less use of the word this because when you do the render you're gonna pass in the state props this way so you don't have to be typing in this dot state and over this dot props so it works um, yeah that's that's it that's basic component that's all basic component really provides you but you can do a lot with that. With just that, really, you can do pretty much anything. So enjoy. Less than 1 KB. You can't beat that. Um, my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Mm -hmm.